the first way to do this is very simple. It is called stretching or time stretch. Time stretch, basically, if you hold control or command and then you left click and then drag this out when the icon pops up, this will allow you to drag this out to a maximum of 20%. Once you've done that, this video is now slowed down. And if you have a look at it, it is playing in slow motion. But the only thing is, once you stretch the video, it will also stretch the audio and it will sound very alien-like if you try to play it back. So if we lower this volume and play this, this is what it will sound like. It sounds very corrupt. And to fix that, it's really simple. All you have to do is right-click on the audio, go to properties, and then there'll be something called pitch change. You just want to tick on this to lock it and then go ahead and press OK. And now if we preview this, you will supposed to sound so that is the first way so the second way to do this is with something called velocity and velocity is basically the same as time stretching but it's a little bit more different and it is more smoother than time stretch to get to it it's very simple you just right click on your video make sure your video is selected and then go down to the one that will say insert slash remove envelope you'll see the velocity is right here once you've got it selected, you will then get yourself a green line down here. And this is the baseline. It is at a hundred percent right now. If you drag this up, it will speed your video up. So as you can see, we now have it at 300. Or if you go in the opposite direction, you will then slow it down. The lowest is 16. If you go any more lower than that, it will go into the minus. And minus is basically like a freeze frame. It doesn't really play anything. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you do slow your video down to, let's say, 16%, the thing is you will need to preview it and have a look, see if everything in the video is there. Because as you can see at the moment, nothing is happening and something should be happening. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you're selecting your video track, press U to split it up. Once you've split it up from the audio, you then want to left click and then drag the edge of it out until something happens. So if we keep on looking at this, at the moment, there is still nothing happening. We need more of the video to show. So right about here is where we don't need any more. So we're going to end it right about here. Now that we've got everything in the video and something does actually happen, we are now out of sync with the audio, as you can see. And with this one, we want to do the same as step one, so you want to hold control, left click, and then drag the outside of it out as much as possible. Right, so now we've got ourselves the audio, we've got the video, and they'll both be playing. We're going to lower the audio because it's a bit loud. If you want to add yourself a transition where it slowly starts to get slower, you want to cut up your audio, press S. And for this one, you want to drag this back to 100%. This will now play at a hundred percent and you want to drag the second one up to here. If you want to, you can crossfade it. So it will smoothly go from normal speed to slower speed. We're going to get ourselves a fade in, right click on it and then set it to this one. Now we also want to do the same for the video and for the video, what you can do is on the line, you can right click on it and you can add yourself a point. Once you've added yourself the first point, you can add yourself a another point let's say about here, and then you want to go to the very first one, right click on it, and then set the velocity to normal. Same goes for the second one, right click on it and set it to normal. What this will do is it will play the video at normal speed, and then once it hits the ramp, it will slowly decline to 16%, so right about here. We're also going to lower the volume of this one a little bit more. We also want to do this for the end bit, so we want to go all the way to the end. We want to cut off a section right here near the end where it'll play normal. Put it up to here. Hold control or command and then put this back to 100% for the speed right about here. It will snap on once it's back to normal. And then drag the middle audio by holding control again and then crossfade this one into the other one. Set it to a crossfade. We're going to lower the volume a little bit more on this one. And then finally, the last thing is get yourself two more points, one here and then one there. Right click on this one, set the velocity to normal. 
But the minute it's a little boring. If you want to get really creative with this, you can start to add sound effects. And one of the most popular ones that is used is the bass drop. This is what the slow-mo guys use for their video. If you want to use the same one, I'll put a link in the description and you just want to left click, drag it into the timeline. The one that I'm going to be using is this one right here. We're going to cut it up by pressing S, cutting up the second bit, deleting the other bit, and then only keeping this one right here. With this one, if you wanted to, you can drag these in, get yourself a fade out, and then a fade in. So it smoothly plays, it doesn't just all of a sudden come out of nowhere. And with this one, if you want to, you can also stretch the audio. So if you hold control and then drag this more inwards to make it a little bit more shorter, but we want it to start right about here. We're going to lower the volume a little bit more and preview, see what it sounds like. That seems okay. If you want to, you can also go in the audio, the effects, and then get yourself a pitch shift. Press okay. And with this one, you have the option to either decrease the number and this will make it so the pitch is lower or you can increase it to make it more higher pitch. But I would say right about four should be good. But we also want to right click on it, go to properties and remember to lock the stretch. Otherwise it will sound weird. And then finally, hold control, left click and drag this out to get yourself a copy. And with that copy, we're going to go all the way to the end. We're going to add ourselves one right here when it goes back to normal. With this one, what you can do, a little cool trick is you can right click on it and then reverse. And this will give it that effect of the video slowly speeding up again. And then don't forget to also right click on the audio and then go down to properties and make sure that you have the lock to stretch. Always, always make sure that this is ticked because you don't want your audio to sound really bad and low quality. So go ahead and press okay. And yeah, you're pretty much done. You've got yourself a slow motion video. And then the final way that you can do this is with the latest video effect, which is called slow motion. This is with Vegas Pro 18. And basically the way it works is it's like an effect. You just drag and drop it. To apply the effect, very simple, left click, drag this into your video, and now you have the slow motion effect, but it isn't active yet. So what you need to do is you need to choose between the quality, do you want it on low, medium, or fine, which is the highest. But we're going to put it on the fine one since it's a short clip, it's very short, and you then go ahead and press analyze motion. And this will start to analyze the motion for the video. Once it's done analyzing, you have the method right here, so between morph or optical. I will put a video on the screen to show you the difference between both of them. So if you want to use morph or optical flow, they are very similar to each other. And this is the playback rate, so this is how fast you want it to play. One is going to be at a normal 100%, and then you slowly drag it down to 0 0.02. That one is correct, there we go. And if we preview this, slowly. We will also need to separate it, press U, and then drag this all the way out because we need a lot more of this video to play. We're on 18 seconds at the moment. We're going even further to 45 seconds. Let's go all the way up to a minute. And there we go. We have the really slow motion right here. If you want to, you can always go back into the video effects and switch to optical flow if you want to, and then that will reanalyze it. And with this one, you can see it straight away right here. You can see where the balloon is. It is morphing that frame with the next frame. But anyway, that has been my video on how to create a smooth slow motion without using any plugins whatsoever. In the future or the next video that I'll be doing, I will also do one on Twixter but for that one i'll have to do two separate videos one how to install it and one how to use it but yeah that has been my video i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up let me know what you thought of this video and i will see you all in my next video bye